All right, I've got a little security nugget here for you today. Uh, if an attacker is sending web requests on your network or from your network to try and download tools, run exploits, or move laterally throughout your network, one of the things they might do is spoof the HTTP user agent. All right, why would they do this? Well, the user agent is sent by the web client. It's used to identify the client. Obviously, the attacker doesn't want to say, hey, look at me, I'm an attack tool and I'm moving laterally through your environment. So they're going to spoof the user agent to look a little bit more innocuous, maybe a common browser. Now, here's one pitfall for the attacker. If they spoof the user agent, that new user agent might actually be unique on your network. All right, it might not be the same user agent that most of the other devices are using. From my experience, attackers don't take the time to match the user agent to a common user agent on, on your network. They're going to just choose a very generic user agent and hope that it goes unnoticed. So we can take advantage of that, um, that flaw and, that, um, and we can search for unique user agents in your environment using the Awake Security Platform. All right, so what do we do first? Well, let's look at device characteristics. I'm actually going to show you this um, first by clicking on a device and showing you where a device characteristic would be. All right, so if I look at this device right here, um, B Robertson sys 5022 um, we can go ahead and open up this device profile and take a look at the fingerprints. And these are all the things that make this device unique on the network or can be used to track the device on the, net on the network. So I'm just going to pull up the user agents and we see that there were three HTTP request user agents here. All right. Now, none of these are unique, right? This user agent is shared by six devices in total. Uh, this user agent down here is shared by three devices and this one is shared by seven devices. The column that we're looking at here under, under devices, this is referred to as coverage, right? How many devices share this particular fingerprint? So we can actually search for this very easily um, using the awake adversarial modeling language. All right, and so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and search through the device fingerprints. All right, and we do that by searching in the device characteristics um, database, and we're gonna filter on HTTP and we're gonna look at the request user agent. You have to be able to know how to type. And we're gonna focus on coverage, right? So if we look at the um, coverage um, help tip down here, it tells you that this is the number of devices using this artifact. All right, now if I wanna find unique fin fingerprints or unique user agents, I'm gonna look for um, a coverage value of less than or equal to one. Okay, and let's go ahead and run this. All right, so we have four devices here that we can look at. Each one of these devices has at least one unique HTTP request user agent. And we can look at all four of these devices here by clicking in each row. We'll notice the quick details on the right bring up a preview of the device profile. All right, I'm already on the fingerprints tab. To make things a little bit easier for me, I'm going to filter on user agent. And I can see that, yes, indeed, this device has at least one user agent that is unique to this device. All right, so I can now investigate both of these uh, two user agents by simply looking at the related activities. I can pop this into a new tab. All right, so. We've taken this process of finding unique user agents, um, which normally would be very time consuming and resource intensive if you were to try to run this on a firewall or in Splunk or in your SIM. And we've distilled this down to a one or two minute process um, using Awake, uh, the Awake Security Platform's Entity IQ technology and the adversarial modeling language. All right, we can check out these other three devices. I might focus on these medium risk devices because they obviously have more risk associated with them than this low risk device. You can see that the, this device actually has four unique user agents. Uh, the next device that we're going to look at, um, Sys3621, has one unique user agent. All right, it's Google Update. 
So again, take this threat hunting process, make it easy for you, and um, you know that concludes this security nugget. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below. Thank you.